Welcome to Tiny Bites. Here's your host, citizen scientist in neurology, neuroplasticity, and positive psychology, Sandy Weaver. Are you waiting for an apology from someone? If so, why? Before you give a knee-jerk reply to that question, ask yourself why the apology matters to you. Is it because your feelings were hurt? Is it because you were right and they were wrong? Is it because you need some sort of closure? What if I told you that an apology is not the answer to any of those questions? Your feelings belong to you, not to anyone else. Examine why you're giving that other person the power over your feelings. Your sense of right and wrong was rooted in your life experiences, and the other person might have a completely different set of experiences. And closure is up to you, not anyone else. The other person has shown you who they are. Believe them. When you base your feelings on whether or not they behave the way you want them to, you're handing your power to them. How much sense does that make? Accept the apology graciously if one is eventually offered. In the meanwhile, quit drowning in the drama and get on with your life. Subscribe to the podcast and share it with your friends. And there's lots more at centerforworkplacehappiness.com. Here's to your well-being, one tiny bite at a time.